So today we'll see how you can create an integration between DocuSign and QuickBooks so that your customers' uh, invoices are being uh, created automatically and sent to your customers automatically as well. For this, you'll need a paid Zapier uh, subscription. They have a free plan, but you won't be able to do, use that one. You need to use a paid plan. They have a paid plan starting at $20. And in case you haven't uh, used Zapier in the past, it's just an app that allows you to integrate multiple apps that don't natively um, talk to each other. Obviously, you're also going to need a DocuSign subscription and a template uh, built in your DocuSign account for your sales contract. I'm assuming you already know what a template is and how to create one, but if that's not the case, you can find the link to download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet, which will show you how to create template, um, use fields, and how to get going quickly if you're just starting. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi, I'm an ex DocuSign trainer, and I'm also the founder of SolarSign Consulting, where we help um, businesses increase revenue by automating all the manual and super boring stuff, like creating invoices or sending uh, contracts to clients. If you need our help to automate workflows similar to the one that I'm going to show you now, you can find the link in the description as well to book a strategy call with me. And so here is the sales contract that we want our clients to sign. I'll just show you the signing order in case you haven't watched the previous videos. This video is the uh, third, um, it's just the next episodes really of the uh, previous videos where I'll show you how to automatically send DocuSign envelopes from your CRM. The second video shows how to automatically archive the signed uh, document back into the CRM and update the CRM automatically. So this third video shows you how to um, kick off the uh, on um, invoicing process really. So in the um, signing order, we've got the client signing first and then we have the sales rep signing second. I've called that solely sign, but we could, uh, we could call that person sales rep, obviously. Um, and then here is the template. So we have some information that we get pre-filled from our CRM and then um, including the sales price that's here and this is customer name and customer address. And here we have the client signing and this is where I count to sign acting as the um, sales rep in this example. So the very first thing you wanna do when you create an integration between two systems is to look at the fields in all the systems to see that you have all those same fields in all systems because we're gonna to need to map DocuSign fields into QuickBooks fields. Why do we need to map fields? Well, it's simply because if you want to be able to create an invoice in QuickBooks, QuickBooks is going to need some data to uh, create that invoice. So what is QuickBooks going to need? At least the company name, um, if we stick with the bare minimum, we need the address, we need the email, so that we know who to send the email to. We also need the name of the person whose email, who we are emailing, because we wanna be able to call them by their first name. We also obviously need to know what product we're selling and for what amount. So since we are integrating DocuSign with QuickBooks, we wanna make sure that we have all that information in our DocuSign template. Now you could say, yeah, but how about if I, if I need to pass some information to QuickBooks that I don't want to show to my clients? So the workaround is to um, create fields for that in your template, but you make them white and read only. Look at this field, for example. This is a field that I use for my CRM pipe drive to um, write the name of the deal in the DocuSign envelope, but customer can't see that because it's white. So it doesn't show on the document. Once you know that you have all the fields that you need uh, for your QuickBooks in, 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 in the DocuSign envelope, then you can go ahead and create your first zap. So very important to name, label all your fields. So I call this, this one deal name and you, you, know, you need to call all your fields the way um, in a meaningful manner so that you can easily um, map them to your QuickBooks field once you set up the integration. Second step is to go to uh, your Zapier account and um, create the zap. So I'm not gonna create a new one because I've already got one. So I'm just gonna show you the one that I am using. I call this one DS contract signed, so DocuSign contract signed, then create an uh, invoice in QuickBooks and send the invoice and also attach the invoice to the deal in the CRM so that it's easy for sales reps to, to see um, that the amount, um, that the invoice was actually sent without having to log into QuickBooks. What I'll do is I'll trigger one now so that it can happen in the background. So what I'll do is I'll create a new deal. If you're not familiar with Pipedrive, don't pay attention to the fact that I'm using Pipedrive. You could be using any CRM. I just want to show you how um, the, the flow starts from uh, start to finish, I guess. So the, 
think of this as your opportunity if you're using if you're using Salesforce. Created my new deal. So so far nothing's happened. I'm just gonna add the address quickly. And I'm gonna add my product as well to the deal. And then finally I'm going to send my DocuSign envelope. So I'll trigger the DocuSign envelope using this button here. And that's it. The DocuSign envelope will be sent. So now you can see that I've got five unread emails and this should turn into a six uh, very soon. So while this is happening in the background, I'm gonna show you the Zapier step. So to create your Zap, the first step as discussed is the envelope sent or completed. And then in the trigger, you're gonna choose the status completed because we only want to create an invoice if the customer has signed the contract. And if we have signed the contract as well, remember there's two signers in the envelope and then download form data, you need to say yes, otherwise you're not gonna be able to use the data, the fields that's in the, the data that's in the field in DocuSign to create the invoices. Now, once um, you've set up the first step, the second step will be to uh, do some splitting. So um, DocuSign is going to send us some, um, for example, we have the recipient names and we need the name of the recipient here, Bob Smith is just one of the examples that I've um, used in the past. Um, we need to be able to separate Bob's email from my email because this is my email as the sales rep and this is Bob's email as the client. So we need to be able to separate that. So um, you need to do this for uh, the email, for the uh, name, because we need the actual contact name um, separate uh, so that we can create the contact in QuickBooks. So I guess um, you just need to do some cleanup in terms of um, how the data comes from DocuSign and then you can start setting up your QuickBooks automation. While we're doing this, um, I've just noticed that I've got an email, so that means I've got my sales contract sent after that I've you know, triggered it in, in Pipedrive. So I'm gonna send, uh, sign the contract now, and then you'll see that everything's gonna happen automatically in the background uh, in terms of the invoice and the, the deal being updated in Pipedrive as well. And I've just finished signing the um, DocuSign contract as the client. I'm now going to receive an email to countersign it, acting as the sales representative. And that's the email, let's sign it. Okay, so I've now countersigned the document as the sales rep, so um, the automation should actually now move the deal from this stage to this stage. It should also um, attach a, a copy of the invoice and create the invoice in QuickBooks. So while this is happening in the background, because by the way, th these steps don't happen instantly. Depending on the Zapier subscription that you have, it'll take either a minute, two minutes, five minutes, or 15 minutes for all these things to happen. I personally have a uh, middle paid plan, so uh, all my Zaps are triggered within two minutes. Now back to the Zap. So once you've cleaned up the text, um, you know, the way um, your uh, fields look like in DocuSign, you want to uh, create the first step, which is to find or create a customer in QuickBooks. And this is important because you don't wanna have to create a new customer every time um, a, a, signed contra a contract is signed in DocuSign because you're gonna have repeat clients. You don't wanna have to create, you don't wanna create a new customer in QuickBooks each time a new contract is signed. So the very first step that you wanna do is you want to search for the client name and this is why this is important to initially put the client name in the DocuSign invoice, in the DocuSign contract so that you can use that field to search for the client name. So for example, here in the search value, I clicked here and I've selected the um, client name field in my DocuSign contract. And so then you basically fill out all of these things. Then you also want to fill out another few fields. So you want to indicate, you want to tell QuickBooks um, what is the email of the person. And so this is why you first need to clean up the email because initially DocuSign gives you both recipient emails in the same line. Um, so then you select the GST registration type if that applies to your account and then you map any other fields. So remember I said that I wanted to um, add the client's address in my uh, customer in QuickBooks. Then I've just mapped all the DocuSign fields for the address. And then um, I've also, I don't need to select currency because I've, uh, I've only got USD uh, payments in this demo account. Then you select whatever else you need to, to select. Plus, 
don't forget to check create quickbooks online customer if it doesn't exist yet so basically this saves you having to create another step which would be create a customer so if you just tick that box you don't need to remap the field which is great then um, the next action will be to uh, send oops to create the invoice so once we have found the customer or created the customer we then need to create the invoice and so to create the invoice we um, need to um, reference the customer that we found in the previous step just right here so you can use customer id or email address whatever you want to use um, to tell QuickBooks which customer. And then you also um, wanna you know, fill out a few stuff that are here. And then the next step will be to specify what product or services you're adding to the invoice. I've only got two product or services in my QuickBooks demo. I've only got uh, something called service or hours. So I've just selected services, but whatever applies to you, just select this. And then the quantity, I've just hard coded one but it doesn't have to be one. You can just pull the quantity from your DocuSign template as well, if that was there. Um, and then you also want to map the amount. So in my DocuSign template, I have the, uh, actually if I show you one document that's already signed. So this is the sales amount that's in the, in the contract and that's what I'm using in um, Zapier to uh, create the invoice in QuickBooks. Then you select whether you've got taxes or not. I mean whatever else the due date these, these are just fields that you don't have to select uh, have to fill out but obviously if you can it's better uh, because that's going to save your team having to do it manually um, and then the next action is to send that invoice right because we don't want to have to wait uh, we don't want to have to do this manually so again we need to reference the invoice and we reference the invoice using the invoice id that we created ourselves actually automatically but we did create it and then you reference the email that you want the email to be sent. To. So that normally should take care of your QuickBooks. And then the next step, which is just optional, obviously, is to attach the invoice that we just created in the client record in the CRM. So whether using Pipedrive again or, or, or Salesforce, doesn't matter. So what I'm doing here is that I'm finding the, the deal. And if you're not a Pipedrive user, a deal is just what Pipedrive calls opportunities. For this same thing, I'm just referencing the name of the deal that I passed in my DocuSign envelope and then I'm just um, identifying the deal. I'm certainly not creating a deal if it can't find it. And then finally, I'm attaching the file into the Pipedrive record. And so the way I do this is by linking the um, PDF invoice that QuickBooks uh, gives us after it's been created and referencing the deal ID that I've found just right here. And so when that's done, we should be all good to check um, what's happened in our QuickBooks and our PyDrive. So let's take a look now and see if the automation has worked. If I now go to my QuickBooks, I should see the uh, Big Beers LLC customers. I'm just going to refresh that page. Customer has been created and you can see that little envelope here means that the invoice was actually sent. And if I take a look at the invoice we have the customer's address and we have the name uh, we have the uh, service that was um, that was also pulled so we have the right amount which is important right we should also have um, the e uh, invoice emailed to the client so let's just check that uh, the invoice was emailed I'm gonna go to my emails now so we can see that we've got an invoice for 20k which is exactly what uh, we wanted to charge our clients in the contract. And then the last step is to check that our deal has been um, moved to uh, closed one and that the invoice has been updated, uh, attached. So we can now see that the deal is one, uh, the st status has been moved. And we also have the uh, DocuSign contract here. And we also have the invoice that's attached to the CRM. And that way, neither sales or accounts had to do any work. That was fully automated. If you want to see more of those tutorials, please let me know what workflows you would like me to um, show you how to automate. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.